Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the daily chart of gold, and we can see our consolidation continues, our 20 moving average as resistance continues, and we're just kind of falling along here, waiting for the market to tell us that it's ready to break out of this range and again when it does it's probably going to get a good move um, you can see uh, some volume came in here just a little bit not as big as some of our peaks here but you can see how volume dipped off here whoops you can see how the volume dipped off so we got a little volume increase but again we can see our volume just accumulating here between 1620 up to about 1700 so we really need to get out of that range to really start to see the market begin to trend again as far as our currency pairs, we'll start off with the euro dollar. And here we are, still sandwiched in between our 20 and 50 moving average. We tested the 50 moving average, pulled back, put in a doji, put in a hammer here. So, you know, again, what is the market telling us here? A little indecision. We can see we are in the neutral zone here above our long term moving average. Ever fractionally, the dollar is in control, uh, but that's really not affecting too much. We did get a little push down here. Uh, but we can see overall the euro is trending sideways and the dollar is trending side sideways with little blips every now and then up and out, but still basically going sideways with the buyers being in control. But again, the key here is just like gold, we're kind of consolidating now in between the 20 and 50 moving average. What about the pound dollar? Here, consolidation between the 20 and 50 moving average. Didn't make it all the way up to the 50 yet though, but there's a consolidation. We were wondering about uh, this close below uh, 1.57. So you see we did get a push back up, but we can see our wicks here at uh, 1.58-ish, 1.855. Um, you know, we can see, and you can see some wicks in here also, that this is where sellers are saying there's value and they're pushing us right back down. Likewise, we are above the long-term moving average while in the neutral zone. Dollar in control once again. Little trending up here on the pound, although you could argue that it's also moving sideways just like the dollar. Maybe the buyers will take control, which will allow us to go back and test this 1.585 price level and maybe a move to the 50 moving average. Finally, we have the dollar franc, which has also entered a range like gold. Uh, sitting here sideways, sandwiched in between a lot of things here. Basically, you could kind of say we're having a sending wedge chart pattern here. Um, volume has fell off here as we're consolidating. That's good for the bulls. Um, barely above our long-term moving average. However, we are in a neutral zone. Dollar in control. And again, same thing. Sideways action here on the franc and on the dollar with the sellers being in control. As we come to today's watch list, we always start off with the one hour time frame using to come up with our low volatility watch list using Bollinger Bands. For that we'll be watching the dollar yen, the euro yen, and the pound yen. For our inside bar watch list, which is looking at today's range as compared with Tuesday. And for that we'll be watching the dollar yen and the dollar franc. As we move to our education spotlight, we've been talking about how to create trading plans. And one of the most important things about trading plans and trading in general is having a plan that matches your personality. Are you going to be a day trader? Are you going to be a position trader? Are you going to be a swing trader? Are you going to be uh, a forex trader, a futures trader, an options trader, a stock trader? All these different styles of trading 
you have to have a certain personality to trade that. If you can't take being in and out of trades, then you shouldn't be a day trader. If you if it takes too long for swing trades to work for you, maybe you should consider it day trade. It all depends on your personality, and then of course the most important thing is, do you have the capital to trade that style? A lot of times, that you know, how much money you have will determine what type of uh, investment vehicle and investment strategies you're going to use. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook. Are you financially literate? You know about our free five video course. It's all about framing a market. What are some things you should consider when making your own high probability trading setups? Hopefully that will engage to who we are as coaches and how we can help you one on one build that trading plan that matches your personality, that matches your trading style, and takes into account how much capital you have. Rebates for your trade. If you're trading Forex, why not get paid to trade? Doesn't change your spread in the trading conditions. Just rebates for your trade. And um, automated Forex trading. Um, we can give you signals. Of course, we want to get the signals to match who you are as a trader and your your investing style. Get the signals so you can trade them, or it can be traded automatically. In the end, it doesn't make a difference about the system or indicator. If you can't pull the trigger because you're trading an uncomfortable strategy, you're trading uh, what your capital can afford, or you're trading who you really are not as a trader. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.